So APA rules now require that you include a DOI with all of your references. But what exactly is a DOI and how can you find it? Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Zach Nambu. I'm a professional educator and researcher. And today I'm gonna to teach you what DOIs are and the most efficient way that I know of to find them for your reference list. Let's get started. So DOI is short for Digital Object Identifier. It's basically just a unique code given to a research article to help people easily find it once it's been cited. Most of the time it looks pretty similar to a normal URL, but unlike a normal URL, a DOI will never change, meaning that researchers, even in the distant future, should be able to find the articles they're looking for if they have the DOI. So how do you find them? I'm going to show you two methods using the website crossref.org. The first method I'm going to show you is useful if you just need to find a single DOI. All you have to do is head to search.crossref.org. In this box in the middle of the page, all you have to do is paste in any information you have about the source. In this case, I have a completed reference ready that I grabbed from Google Scholar, but this can work even if you don't have all the details. So all I will do is go to my reference and copy and paste that into the box and hit search. And just like that, you have the DOI that you can use to complete your reference entry. What you might do is just click on it to make sure that it goes to the article. And if the correct article is linked up, you have the right DOI. All you then have to do is highlight it and copy and paste it into your reference list. Job done. Now, if you're doing heavier research, you're probably dealing with a lot more than just one or two references. What if you have a whole list of references missing DOIs? Isn't there any way to scale up this process? Well, luckily there is, and I found it at this page, doi.crossref.org slash simple text query. I'll put the link in the description as well. So with this page open, I'll go to my reference list, hit Command A to select everything, Command C to copy, and Command V to input them into this box. With everything input, I will go down to this very small submit button down here and hit submit. It's gonna take a second to think and just like that, pop out all of the DOIs that we need. Once your DOIs are on screen, all you have to do is copy them and paste them into your reference list and you're good to go. You still have to copy and paste them one at a time, so it's not a completely perfect method, but it's definitely better than searching for them on Google Scholar one by one. And so there you have it. That's the process that I use to find my DOIs. Do you know of a better way to do it? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.